hello welcome back to another session of autocad practice lesson okay before i start i want to use this opportunity to make a general overview of what we have done so far in autocad okay uh, the very first lesson about AutoCAD in this YouTube channel was about setting of some important uh, tools and how to use those tools. In case you are very new to this lesson or to using AutoCAD, you can go back and watch that video title a 2d autocad lesson one i will try to include the link of that video in this very video and also we move from learning how to use tools to creating floor plan how to create floor plans and then when we finished that we started making mechanical drawings in 2d and then we advance to making those drawings in 3d and then we started making advanced 3d drawing last week i finished i completed the advanced 3d drawing i am now back to making proper building plans now listen this particular series i'm starting again will comprise of making floor plan that is architectural plan and then after making architectural plan with all the required uh, dimensions and everything everything that architect should make in a drawing and then we'll advance again with the same series in making structural plan out of architectural plan now after we make structural plan we are going to do the paneling layout and then to design i am going to still use the same layout to make a design of this building in brutal structure I'm going to do a complete set of structural design how uh, in using plotter structure then I will also show you how to detail them import all the details back to AutoCAD I will show you how to edit them I will show you how to make the layouts and then how to print everything now to summarize the whole thing I'm going to show you how to make drawing from very beginning to the final stage that will be used at site to execute a good job. Do you understand? So that is now the aim of this particular series. In case you are a civil engineer and you are you are you don't know you are you are you are not aware of how if someone gives you a job or a building to design, you don't know how to start, you don't know where to start from. Now, this is opportunity for you to watch this video, follow the series one by one until the end. Then at the end of this series, you will be able to start collecting your uh, jobs from clients and be confident that you can handle this job, do everything, print it and deliver it to the clients. Okay, without wasting more time, let's proceed so for learning purpose I'm, i came up i came up with this small it's not a small building anyway you can see this is a three a four bedroom apartment and it's going to be a story building two stories so it, it's not as small as it as you as you think so i'm going to develop this building in autocad architectural plan do the first floor of course 
a ground floor and first floor i want to maintain the same dimension everything just for learning purpose okay so i'm going to develop this do everything put windows doors and all the dimension that is required and then i will advance to doing structural paneling and then design okay without wasting time let's start so uh, let's go to um, i will be visiting these dimensions these dimensions are not actually complete but every other dimension that needs to be added i will add it i will say it out as i'm making the drawing okay so So uh, let's go to AutoCAD now. First of all, if you are still using 3D modeling, you can now change it back to drafting and annotation. Just click here, change it to drafting and annotation. Okay. So uh, I'm going to turn off this grid. And um, first of all, let's set units. You can type N U N. Okay. This setting, I have already thought how to make these settings in my in the 2D AutoCAD lesson one, which I'm going to include the link in under this video. So, um, we just select. I'm going to select millimeters. So all my dimensions will be in millimeters. Then I can. I would want to select position to this and let every other thing stand like this. I will click OK. All right. So, for us to start, before we start, uh, looking at the drawing, looking at the drawing, we will need we will need wall, and we will need windows, we will need doors, we will need text, and other things, right? Other things. So, for us to do that, let's immediately create layers for that creating of layers i have i have also did a video on that in the same video i told you about lesson one so i'm going to create new layers so i will create the first one let me call it uh wall my external and internal wall will be the same so i'll create that wall i can give a different okay let me maintain white and I can give give a thickness of say 30. Okay, the next one, let me say uh, window. Window. Okay, let me give this window a different color. Say, um, let me put let me put yellow. And then, okay, let me just let me maintain the thickness. And then. Uh, another door let me put this one as door okay let me change the color to say this and what else text text okay let the text be uh okay text okay let me use this color as text all right um for now let me stop here as other things come up i will create the layers so i will start with wall so will, i'm going to activate this wall then i will close okay so i will start by drawing wall so let's look at the drawing okay you can start from anywhere you can start from anywhere but here um, i'm going to show you my own pattern of making the drawings there are people that use online tools and be moving around but I don't prefer using line tools. So what I normally do is I always use a construction line. I will type XL, enter. Then I will let me start by doing a horizontal ones first. So I will turn on my auto mode. If you cannot, if if you want to check the construction line here, you can extend this and it is here. Look at you can choose from here all right so the next thing i'm going to draw is the vertical line so i'm going to type xl enter i'll draw vertical line now these two lines 
I'm going to make this use these two lines to make all the drawings, all the lines, all the walls, everything that I I intend to do here. So I'm going to use it do this. So how do I make only make use of only these two lines by doing offsets? Thank God for AutoCAD. It's very sweet using offsets to work on this. So any dimension, any length I want to go, I will just offset to that length. So let's start. Okay, let me start doing the offsets from you can start it from the bottom or you can start it from the top. Anyone. Okay, let me let me let me start from the bottom. Let me start from the bottom to the top. Okay, so you're looking at this dimension from the bottom here. This room has a dimension of 3600 mm. So I'm going to offset 3600. So I will type O, that is for offset. I will put in 3600. Enter. Then I will offset it upward. Okay, now before I'm going to, before I offset that, before I offset that, let me delete this. Before I offset that, I have to do block thickness first. Okay, looking at this, I'm going to use a thickness of 225, which is around 9 inches. 225. So my block thickness, wall thickness, will be 225. So what I'm going to do now is to first of all offset 225. Enter. So I will make a thickness of 225 like this. Okay. Now, this dimension is internal dimensions, not center to center, in to in dimension. So I will now offset again, offset 3600, 3600. Then I will pick from the inner line here, 3600. That is in to in dimension. Now the next dimension is the same wall thickness again. So I will offset 225 right upward and then let's look at the next dimension the next dimension is 1800 1800 so i will offset 1800 from here and now the wall thickness is 225 offset 225 enter all right so if you look at the next di the next dimension is another 1800 so I will offset again 1800 okay and then wall thickness 225 in this case all my walls within internal walls and external walls carry the same thickness okay let's look at the next dimension the next dimension is also 3600 so we'll offset 3600 and then wall thickness 225 Okay, let's look at the next dimension. All right, the next dimension here is 4,200. So I will offset 4,200 like this. And then wall thickness 225 like this. Now, the total vertical dimensions is complete. So let me move this thing out from here okay so i'm now going to worry about the horizontal dimension okay i'm going to pick a reference point so first of all let me assume that this vertical line is here is here okay it's here so i'm going to first of all make a thickness of 225 left word up up 225 left word like this okay then from there i'm going to make the dimension of this 1800 let me start with that first 1800 so i'm going to offset 1800 right left word okay then thickness of 225 okay now from that same line, the same initial line, I'm going to make another offset of 3,600, 3,600, so that I will be able to draw this particular uh, room. 
okay all right so i'm going to offset 3600 from here in a line like this okay and then wall thickness of 225 okay please don't be confused all right so at this point at this point i will have to trim so that i will remove some uh, confusion because this that has started becoming cumbersome all right so i'm going to start trimming okay so see how i'm going to trim so i'm going to trim now okay so for me to trim this first of all i want to select this select this horizontal line type tr for trim and then i will remove this and i remove this next thing i'm going to trim is i would type i will click that line type tr i remove this yes okay so how to trim i have made this video already so you can go and watch you, you can click on the link i'm going to insert here all right so let me let's keep trimming uh next thing i'm going to trim this line is not required here so i would select this line type tr i'm going to trim off this part also select this line type tr and i'm going to trim off these parts okay let's look at our drawing and see the trimming parts okay we are almost we are there okay all right so the next thing i'm going to trim is this so i'm going to click here type tr and trim off this also again tr and trim off this so i'm still going to trim off this line here and i will trim this off also there okay now what is remaining to trim off let's look at the drawing okay so from there i'm going to start making other offset now so i'm going to offset for this room now i'm going to offset for this room but before i offset i have to offset this door this door doesn't have dimension but the dimension that i'm going to give is 900 and you can see it flushes on this so i'm going to offset from the 900 so i'm going to offset 900 okay from here this way okay that 900 now is that door so i'm going to offset again two to offset offset two to five for that door uh, wall thickness then the dimension of this kitchen is not also given but i'm going to use 2400 internal dimension so i'm going to offset 2400 from here okay i have that then thickness 225 i have this i'm going to offset again for that door 900 this particular door this one 900 okay offset 900 enter okay from there what do we have do we have wall thickness okay we have wall thickness of 225 offset 225 there okay let me pause here and start trimming so here i don't need anything downward here so i will trim this off i don't need this okay all right so i'm going to now make this i'm going to now make this room 3006 by 3006 so i'm going to offset it from where i had this door so i'm going to offset 3600 from here to there and offset wall 225 like this okay so i'm going to trim off this line okay so i'm going to extend 
this line to meet this one okay all right so then i'm going to also trim off this one that is projecting like this okay and then the last thing i'm going to do to the left part of the building is to put this veranda this the distance here the, the dimension is 1200 so i'm going to do that so i'm going to offset from here offset 1200 okay so I'm offset from here 1200 then thickness is offset 225 then we have here 225 then i can now join this line okay all right so now i can trim off these parts it's no longer required okay now let's go back to this this part now at this point i'm going to trim off this line i don't need 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 this line right now okay all right so what we are going to do next i don't need this line as well so i'm going to trim off the one that is coming downward here okay all right so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to also do the room on the left on the right hand side this room 3600 so let's offset that offset 3600 so i'm going to offset this 3600 and offset 225 for thickness 225 for thickness so we are almost there looking at the drawing i'm going to make this part also so i'm going to offset from here 1800 so internal dimension 1800 and thickness of 225 so i would say offset 225 Okay, we'll have this 225. Now, the next thing I'm going to offset is this room, 3600. So let me offset that. Offset 3600 from here. And then thickness of wall, 225 here. Okay, so let me trim to avoid confusion. So I'm going to select this line. I will trim off these parts, right? I'm also going to select this. I'm going to trim off this part. And I will select this and trim off this part. I will have this. So now the next thing I'm going to do is this veranda here by this uh, um, dimension 1200. So let me quickly add that offset 1200. I'm going to offset this, then thickness 225. I'm going to make this 225. All right. And you can see this veranda flushes with the end of this staircase uh, room. So that line is okay. So what I'm going to trim is just select this line and trim off these lines. Okay. And in this one, these ones are not also required. Then let me trim out every other thing that is not useful. Now I'm going to trim this. I'm going to sorry about that. Control Z. Then I have to select this line before I trim. Then I'm going to trim off this. Okay. So now let's keep trimming to make sure that everything comes out. All right. As you can see. The lines that are crossing in the middle are not required. So what I will do is select this, select this, that TR, and then trim everything inside here. And I think now everything has come out. So let's look at the drawing again. Now, almost everything has come out. So the next thing I'm going to do is to separate the staircase hall from the other veranda. So I'm going to offset, since the dimension is 2,500, so I'm going to offset 2,500, 2,500 from inside here. I will have something like this. Okay, 2,500. 
All right. Okay. Okay. That is the 2,500 is for the total span of staircase. The the landing there is not included. So I will assume the landing to be 1,005. So sorry about that. Let's let's offset face of all. Let me delete this line. So I'm going to offset 1,005 for the landing first. Then from there, I'm going to offset 2,005 for the whole staircase length. Okay. All right. So now let me delete this part because it's part of the staircase. And then let me trim off this. Okay. So this part now will be staircase hall. Okay. All right. So at this point, we can start trimming everything. And then we start adding other things like doors, windows. And then. so for us to trim, just type TR and start trimming all the intersections here. Trim something like this. So I'm going to fast forward this. Okay, looking at the drawing, you can see that everything has come out exactly the way it is here. So, the next thing we are going to do is to add doors and windows. So, um, I want to use the opportunity and say that um, you can make, you can decide to draw your own, make your own drawers, or you can get it from the already made uh, in it from the system so if you want to get it from you have, you can press ctrl 2 okay when you press ctrl 2 a dialog box will up, up appear and you can select okay if you can this is where i was i was last you can go home click on home and you can use en uh, architectural let's look for architectural imperial then block and then from here you can see whatever you want uh, okay it's not here so you can go back here and check uh, architectural metric where is it imperial okay all right let's check block here and you can choose the draw you want this this are uh, door metric you know this are here so but here i'm not going to draw any of this i'm not going to use any of that i'm going to draw mine how do i do this okay so see how i'm going to draw this it's quite simple so i'm going to have like three types of doors three types of doors so let me start by drawing uh, take a rectangular tool and type at 25 comma 900 yeah so you have something like this right okay 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 so i forgot something you know we have already created uh layers for doors so i'm going to choose this layer before i do it okay it has already changed okay so since it has changed okay so since it has changed what i have to do is let me draw another rectangle say 20, at 25, 25, 50, let's say something like this. Select this and then window. You can activate it at once. Let me activate that so that whatever I draw will take that um, color. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this at this point and join it here. I'll have something like this. And I'm going to pick this arc, center start end arc. I will pick this point, pick this point, and then something like this. Let me turn on my auto mode. So we'll have something like this. Okay. 
so i will have one door like this right now the next door is going to be of a smaller size so i'm going to step at uh, uh, 25,750 enter then i'm going to still do the same to this uh, at 25,50 enter then i'm going to move it at this point to this point okay then i'm going to still pick this arc at this point pick here and then here i have that you can see this one is bigger than the other one and uh, the third one is going to be a double door so i'm going to mirror i'm going to copy this copy this and mirror it i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to mirror this then i'll have this okay okay so i'm going to do the same thing to windows i'm going to have also three types of windows so i can select the rectangle i type at 225 comma my first length of uh, width of window will be 1200 let me use that okay um i can rotate this it has turned to be in on the other way i can rotate this to have it like this then i'll move it away from there okay okay so i'm going to explode this type x select it and explode okay or you can come here and click here it has exploded so please look at what i'm going to i'm going to offset this 50 this line downward this line downward then i'm going to offset this again say uh 600 i'm going to offset this in like this 600 okay so this was going to be my window but then let me change it because i was still using door label so i'm going to use window here all right so this is the window that i will have so the next window is going to be a size of let me draw this a size of um 1800 comma 225 oh that is wrong uh let's draw it again at 1800 comma 225 okay yeah so now i'm going to do the same thing i will explode this click here and explode this then offset it 50 uh yeah 50 offset 50 offset o oh, 50 and then this okay i have this this time around i'm going to offset this uh say 400 do this 400 do this 400 and i'll have this okay now let me select again and choose window because this was for window um the third window is going to be a very small window so i'm going to draw this step at uh, uh 600 comma 225 you have that okay i'm going to explode again click here explode and offset this 600 sorry 50 so offset this 50 down 50 up and this is how i want this to be okay so i will select this and choose window now i'm going to make block to all of this how do i make block so i will come here see here i will say create i will click on this create so let me start by naming my windows i will name like oh sorry door let's start from door door one door one right door one okay so i will, I will click this point specify pick a point let me pick a point here and then 
uh select objects i'm going to select this object a whole of this and i will click ok i'm done with that so i'm going to create another one say dot two dot two okay i'm going to pick a point here okay then i'm going to select this object okay and click ok now i will do the same thing to order so i'm going to fast forward now Okay, so I have made these blocks now. See, you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do is to carry them to this. You can see that all the blocks are here now. See all of them here. I can now pick them. So at this point, I'm going to stop here. I'm going. To, we are going to continue this particular lesson in the next video, so that you see how to. Put where to put these doors and how to edit everything and make up. So we are going to be splitting this lesson like this till we finally complete everything. Okay. So please, um, if you are interested in learning this AutoCAD from the beginning, from scratch to the end, do subscribe so that you will not miss anything. All right. So bye for now.